Hello, I'm uh, Dave Messersmith with Penn State's Marcellus Education Team, and we're back again here on the banks of Spring Creek in Center County. And joining me today is Brian Swissback, and Brian is Penn State's Water Resources Extension Specialist at uh, Penn State University. So, Brian, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, and the topic of this uh, of this video is uh, Marcellus wastewater waste fluid uh, treatment and disposal. Um, and I thought I'd have Brian just uh, talk to us today about uh, the different types of waste fluids that we're seeing, uh, treatment options, and then uh, some some trends or some things that he's seeing uh, into the future. So, I guess uh, Brian, first of all, can you uh, maybe define and characterize some of the uh, different types of wastewater that are produced by uh, the Marcellus shale industry? Yeah, there's really five in all. There's first just the groundwater that they encounter when they drill, and that they may just use that as part of the drilling. So that's not really a wastewater. The, the first one would be a drilling fluid that uh, is the fluid that they use to, to mix with clay and other materials to cool the bit down as they're drilling. Small amounts of wastewater produced from that. There can be naturally occurring brine, which is deep ocean water held underneath the ground. Some wells have very little or no brine at all. Others have quite a bit. The big one is the frac return or the flow back water, and this is the, the return of the fluid that they use during the hydrofracturing, and that can be hundreds of thousands or millions of gallons of wastewater. And then finally there's production fluid, which is what's produced as that well produces methane, and that can occur during the entire life of the well. And, and as we're looking at those different types of waste fluids that are produced, are they, uh, are they all sort of treated uh, fairly equally as far as treatment and disposal? Or? Yeah, other than the fresh water that they may encounter initially during the drilling, which they have a lot of leeway to just reuse that because it is fresh water. Besides that, all the other fluids are, are really lumped together as a waste fluid and need to be treated, recycled, reused, something like that. And, and as we look at the treatment, what, uh, what, um, what treatment options exist and what is the industry sort of doing and what, what are they moving towards? Well, what we've conventionally done with treatment is to remove some parameters like the metals and the oil and grease and the sediment and then discharge the salt water into a stream and rely on the stream to dilute it down. And it was realized fairly early on that we couldn't continue to do that at this level. So you can always treat it to a higher degree, and the state's going to require additional treatment to meet better regulations before they discharge into a stream. And we will see some of that, I'm sure. But we've seen a real move toward other options like recycling and reuse of the water right on the pad site. There's also deep well injection, which can be done in a limited amount in states around Pennsylvania. We don't have really much of that here in Pennsylvania yet for Marcellus. Um, so that's not been a big option uh, just as yet. As we look at recycling, which, which it seems like the industry is moving more and more towards recycling yes. uh, and reusing their wastewater, uh, what are some of the opportunities and maybe even more importantly, what are some of the challenges uh, that occur when people start reusing uh, and recycling the waste fluid? Well, the recycling is a really a win-win for industry and for everyone else because there's not as much truck traffic or as move, movement of fluids. Uh, you don't have to discharge anything into a stream, so there's no problem with that. It's basically just reusing that water from one site to the next. So it takes care of a lot of the infrastructure problems, the, the truck traffic, etc. The challenges are uh, of being able to deal with that fluid, being able to dilute it down to a, a usable quality for the drilling companies. Um, that's one of the biggest issues that they're overcoming. It also has a lot of economic benefit, I should mention, too. Treatment can get very expensive, so being able to reuse it saves a lot of money. So there's a financial incentive for the companies to uh, recycle as well as other benefits. Absolutely, you know, big financial advantage. Uh, it can cost to, to really remove everything from this water can easily cost 20 or 25 cents per gallon. And when you're talking about millions of gallons of waste fluid, it adds up even for one gas well. Okay, well, thank you, Brian, and uh, stay tuned uh, over the coming months and years as we, uh, as new uh, treatment technologies come into play, uh, we'll certainly have Brian come back and talk more about those in the future. So Brian, thank you.